Hello, hello. I placed an order at Sephora, so I thought I would share with you what I purchased and put whatever I can on my face. I also just recently got a few things in PR that are sold at Sephora, so I thought I'd throw those in there, like a lip product because I didn't order any lip products. You get me. So uh, the first thing actually is something that I can't really demonstrate for you, but I'll probably put this on like during a vlog, but I was just really curious about this. It's by Soleil Toujours, and it is their Mineral Ally Daily Defense Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50. It is a water resistant for up to 80 minutes, tinted glow. You guys know how much I love the idea <laughs> of these like body glow products or yeah, like tinted SPFs or whatever. I don't always use them that often, but I really do love the idea of them. So here's the bottle. And this isn't the product, it's not a clear bottle. This is actually uh, like the color of the plastic <laughs> on the bottle. And it is a mineral sunscreen, it is zinc oxide, but let me just shake it up and squeeze some out because I think you can use this on your face and body. Well, you can use it wherever you want, but I think they suggest face and body. Let me see. Actually it does not say on the box, but I feel like I saw maybe on the Sephora site that it said like face and body, which is why I got it. Let me just squeeze a little out here. And here is that SPF, tinted SPF. Ooh, it's nice. It is, I wanna say pretty similar. The tone is different. The tone is peachier, but it's similar to that Super Goop uh, glow screen you know, where they just came out with one that has like a little bit of a bronzy tint. It's very similar to that. This, I don't think, I don't think this is quite as glowy as the uh, Super Goop one. This does have an interesting scent. I don't know if it's fragrance or if it's just the smell of this, but it's, um, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. It kind of smells fruity, but also not <laughs> all at the same time. Sorry, that's really vague. It, it's, it, has, it has a fragrance. I mean, it's not horrible. It's just, it's different. It's definitely very different. Okay, so that is one product that I got. Um, today, what we're gonna be trying is the Dior Forever Glow Veil. This is their Radiant Primer. So this is a hydrating primer. That sounded really good to me since I have very dry skin. Laura Mercier came out with a new foundation. This is the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I got it in the shade two and one. I hope, I hope that's the right shade, we'll see. Um, and then NARS came out with the Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. And I got this in the shade Cove. So we'll be trying that. And then I also purchased the Dominique Cosmetics Essential Palette. The color story just really appealed to me. It reminded me of like old school Pat McGrath, like one of her earlier palettes. Anyway, we'll take a look at that. I have tried an, one other Dominique Cosmetics palette, I believe. It's the one that had like pastel colors in there. That was a little touch and go. I felt like some shades in there were okay, some shades weren't. So we'll see how I feel about this one. And then some things that I got in PR that I wanted to try today. So the Charlotte Tilbury um, Pop Shots, we'll see if I can kind of squeeze that in with the Dominique Cosmetics. The uh, Matte Blush Wand from Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. And the new shade in Fair Bronze from Say in their Sun Melt uh, Cream Bronzer. And then Charlotte Tilbury also sent me some lip products like a lip gloss in um, Pillow Talk and their Pillow Talk Lip Liner. So I figured I'd try those again, because I didn't purchase any of the products. So that is what we're gonna be playing with today. Let me go ahead and start with this Dior Forever Glow Veil. I am super excited for this because I think they came out with this at the same time as the matte veil, or maybe that one came out first and I was like, will you come out <laughs> with a radiant moisturizing one? And then they did. So just shaking this up, the bottle is glass and it's looking very similar to their other Forever products. They're starting to print the names across. It used to go up and down. Do you remember that? Now they're going across. And let's see, 24 hour hydration. I'm trying to see, that doesn't seem like there's any SPF or anything. 
So I'm going to just pump some out. It does have a pump at the top, which is nice. Here is the texture, light. Ooh, it has like a very slight kind of like pearly sheen. Ooh, that's nice. The fragrance is like a, like a light fresh floral. Oh, maybe you can see like the pearly sheen on my hands a little bit better. It's nice though, it's subtle. It's not like highlighter. All right, well, I do feel like I'm looking pretty radiant. It's lightweight, so I don't feel like I have too much stuff on because I just put it on on top of all of my skincare. There's a little bit of tackiness, which I think is good as a primer, you know, it's gonna kind of help your makeup adhere <laughs> to your face. Huh, so far so good. All right, so that is the Forever Glow Veil. Very nice. Um, now let's try the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I'm very excited for this. The bottle is really pretty. Look at that. It's uh, glass, it's frosted glass. It's rounded, it's like oval. It's got the name on the back. And again, I got shade 2N1, Cashew. I'm just gonna shake this up. And it does have a pump at the top. And there is the foundation. So a little, a little like on the, th I don't wanna say on the thinner side, like a very medium kind of texture. It is running down my hands, so it's not super creamy. And hopefully this is a good match for me. I'm just gonna start here. I usually put foundation on with a brush, so I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I just started with my hands. <laughs> oh, the primer is balling up a little bit. I probably should have let that kind of settle down. Let me use a brush because I think when I rub, it just makes it worse. So I'm gonna grab my BK Beauty 101 brush. I think the cashew color is a little warm for me. It's not, it's not actually very neutral. I think it's pretty warm looking. It looks pretty nice though, I have to say. The finish is quite lovely. And I would say the coverage is like a light medium. You know, I can still see a little bit of the pink on my cheeks coming through and a little bit of the red around my nose there. So it's evening out my skin tone, but not really like camouflaging everything, which I like, which I think is really nice. I'm gonna squeeze out just a little bit cause I didn't get any onto my forehead. So just one more pump. And yeah, applying with the brush helps a lot. I think when I was just like rubbing it in with my hands, it was balling up the primer, which is not great. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a really close look here. Oh yeah, it looks nice. Looks great around my nose. Except for, I think I have like fuzzies for my sweater on my nose. I feel like it's actually kind of minimized my pores a little bit. Okay. Looks nice on my forehead. My forehead sometimes does weird things to foundation because I have like some scarring up here from eczema, but it looks, looks good. All right. Wow. So far I'm impressed. Very nice. I, again, I do feel like with Laura Mercier, I have to remember their colors run a little warm. So I feel like I should get a, like a cool shade or something that they've deemed cool to get something more neutral. I don't know, maybe the next time I'm in store, I can take a look if they have it. But yeah, this 2N1, it's a little warm. It's a little warm. Okay, so that is the Laura Mercier Weightless Perfecting Foundation. Real Flawless is the full name. What should we do next? Oh, let's try this new shade from Say. So I really love their Sun Melt Cream Bronzer. Um, it's definitely appeared when they first released it. It's definitely appeared in my favorites. Um, but they came out with two new shades. So this shade, Fair Bronze, is now their lightest. Light Bronze used to be their lightest. And this one looks perfect. Look at how neutral that tone looks. Let's do a quick swatch. Yeah, right here. Oh, very nice and subtle. Ooh, I'm excited for this. Um, so I have been using light bronze, which is fine. Uh, but this I think is great for my coming out of the dead of winter <laughs> skin color. I think this will uh, this will work really well. So uh, let me use this Sonia G Classic Base Brush. I'm gonna work it in. I really like um, the texture of this cream bronzer. It's 
Um, there's a stiffness there, but it's not hard to pick up. Yeah, it just, I don't know, I think it works really well. It's just not, it's not too emollient. I'm not the biggest fan of cream products that are like too emollient, where I just feel like, <laughs> like I'm just like glossing up my face. I don't like that. I like a little bit of stiffness to my cream products. This is a good shade. This is a good shade, yes. Ooh, I love it. Okay, so here it is applied and here's nothing. So it just adds like just a little bit, a little bit there, a little shadow. Mmm. I'm a big fan of this fair bronze shade. Lovely, and I love how neutral it is. Yeah, I feel like I can use it for contour or bronze. Oof, that is great. Love it. Ah, uh, say, you did it right. You did it right. This shade is really, really good. All right, so this is a big winner, the Say Sun Melt in Fair Bronze. Love it. Okay, um, let's see. I'm gonna try the new NARS Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. Again, I got on the shade Cove. And I think I mentioned this in my favorites video, but I haven't really been using that much powder, but now that summer is fast approaching, spring, summer is fast approaching, um, I do tend to wear a little bit more powder when I feel like I'm gonna be extra glowy, which happens a lot here in Vegas. So, oh, look how sleek this compact is. Here is the shade Cove. And I'm a big, big fan of NARS's light reflecting pressed powder, so one that looks like it's white, comes in a rectangular uh, compact. That is like one of those really like smoothing, blurring powders. So I'm very curious um, how this one's gonna work. So I'm gonna take this Sonia G Lotus Detail Brush and just pick up a little, picks up easily. This is a pressed powder, it's not baked or anything. So pick up quite a bit, <laughs> very easily. I think I picked up too much. And this Cove powder, I hope it's coming across on camera, there's a little bit of like a yellow undertone to it. But I'm just gonna apply some under my eyes. Not that I put any concealer on, but it's nice to kind of blur this area if I can. I just put some on the tip of my nose. Can you see how matte it looks? I didn't even pick up, I didn't, I didn't think I picked up that much, but it almost looks a little drying. Hmm. And I can't say it did much for my under eyes. Yeah, it's not like it does that much blurring or whatever. I think if you have oily skin and your priority when it comes to powder is just to mattify, this could be great for you. But I think in terms of like blurring, it's not really doing much. Yeah, it's just taking down shine. That's all. Okay, not bad. I just don't think it's the powder for me since I have dry skin, but it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. It doesn't look cakey or anything terrible on my skin. Now, let's try the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beauty Blush Wand in Pillow Talk. Um, I didn't really powder my cheeks too much, so I think we're safe with that. But, wow, this is, that squeezy top. I think we're all familiar with this at this point. So I am going to turn it on and squeeze, squeeze gently here. Okay, got some coming out of the tip there. <laughs> it's like grossly fascinating watching it come out of the sponge tip. Okay, let me just dot a little. And then I'm just gonna take this classic base brush again and just blend that in. I like this Pillow Talk shade a lot. It's very mauve very cool toned. Try to get a sense of how matte this is. Yeah, it's not, it's not dry looking. This matte I can handle. The Danessa Myricks, these, not that these are dry looking either, but these were matter than this. Like these had a real kind of like powder finish where this is just kind of like, it's just kind of lacking shine, but it doesn't, it doesn't come off like powdery at all. Oh, that's pretty. 
I also feel like my skin just ate it up. I wonder if I should put some powder down. You know what, I am. I'm going to, I find if I don't put powder down before I use a cream blush, my skin will just eat it up. It'll just disappear. So I'm going to lay some of this down. I'm just going back to the NARS and being more careful about how much I pick up. <laughs> and I'm just going to powder. Okay. I say we just sit with this for a while because I feel like it's fading before my eyes, even though I put powder down and I even put powder on top of this cheek. Yeah, sometimes my, my cheeks just eat cream blush. All right, we'll keep an eye on it, uh, but let's move on to eyes. All right, so I'm just going in with my Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. And let's take a look at this Dominique Essential Palette. I will throw some swatches up here for you. Oh, so I think this is her first palette. I was wondering why it was so heavy. I think this is her first palette where it's not cardboard. I'm not sure, but this is a nice uh, plastic mauve color. And here are the 10 shades. Don't these look pretty? I'm very excited for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch from left to right, top to bottom. First we have Grateful, Pretty Kind, Que Linda, Affirmation, Confident, Me Amo, Compassion, Positivity, True Self, and Fearless. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, I am going to start with Compassion. And this looks to have kind of like a peachy undertone, so I hope it doesn't come off too orangey on my eyes because I've been having problems with <laughs> with eyeshadows. I guess kind of like oxidizing on my eyes. So I'm hoping that this will kind of stay true to true to its color that I see in the palette. All right, I've got my BK Beauty A503 brush. Nice fluffy blender. I see a little bit of a peachiness there. So yeah, I don't think it's coming off quite as like orange as a lot of uh, transition shades have been coming off on my eyes, so that's good. Yeah, it's a little bit more on the peachy, peachy pinky side. So these are well pigmented, at least this shade, well pigmented, blended out very nicely. No issues. Okay, I'm gonna take a smaller blender brush and let's see, do I wanna go into True Self or Confident or Mayamo? Let me think. Let me think. Actually, I'm gonna go into Grateful. I really like this kind of silvery lilac shade. So I've got my BK Beauty A502 brush. And it felt like this was a little bit difficult to pick up, which I'm kind of experiencing right now. I'm not getting a lot on this brush, but it's pretty, it's pretty. It's coming off very nicely. I just, I kind of feel like I had to go in to that shadow a little bit to uh, get product. That is very pretty. I'm gonna try a denser natural hair brush. I'm gonna try this number 12 brush from Refer and go into the same shade to see if the effect is different. No, I think the payoff is the same. It was just um, easier to pick up. I didn't have to like, work it in too hard. Hmm, that's pretty though. I like that shade. Um, I'm gonna go into the one next to it, Pretty Kind, and put that all over my lid. I'm gonna use this Sonia G Soft Shader Brush from her Skyline and go into Pretty Kind. Yeah, these shades are pretty sheer, which is nice if you wanna use them as a topper. Okay, okay, pretty. I'm gonna go back in with my big fluffy blender because I just wanna do a little bit something more just right out here. Um, I'm gonna go into, uh, sorry, <laughs> just deciding, uh, this True Self Shade and see how that works with everything. It's a little bit, um, like it has kind of like a mustard undertone. There's like a lot of yellow which is different from these other shades. So I just wanna see how this works with the other ones. It mixes well, blends well with the other ones. 
And then I am going to take a skinny brush here. I'm going to take the refer number 28 brush and I'm going to go into Fearless, which is this matte black shade and use it as liner. Let's see how this, how this goes. Nice, really well pigmented, works really nicely as a liner. There. Well, I didn't get to use all 10 shades in the palette, but what I did use, um, I like the mattes. I think that they were well pigmented. I think they blended out nicely. These shimmer shades though are a little bit thin and I'm not sure if that was, you know, her um, kind of by design sort of situation or I don't know, maybe they could use a little bit more oomph, but yeah, it, it felt like it took a little bit to get this grateful color to kind of show up on my lid. And same with the Pretty Kind. The Pretty Kind, I mean, it's so light. It was a little bit easier than the Grateful, but yeah, I just feel like they could use, they could use like a little, a little bit more, <laughs> a little more oomph there. Um, but overall, I think it's very nice. It's very pretty, right? What a pretty palette. Oh, I didn't use the Pop Shot from Charlotte Tilbury. That's okay. I can use that another time. Um, let's check in on my cheeks. I think the blush is still there. I think it faded a little bit, but I think it stopped. So, so that's good. But yeah, I still see it. I still see it on my cheeks. Does that happen to anyone else? I'm sure it does. I feel like I've seen comments where like some people just can't use uh, cream shadows because, you know, it just disappears after a while. But I definitely have found some cream shadows that work really, really well. And you guys have heard me talk about them a lot, like the Cure Weiss Cream Blush. That one's such a good one. The Weston Atelier Blush Sticks, those are so good. Anyway, let me uh, throw on some mascara. I don't have any new mascara, so I'm just gonna use my Surat Noir Lash Tint. This is that mascara that is so good at keeping my curl and it is bristleless. The wand is bristleless. Okay, and for lips, we're gonna try the Charlotte Tilbury, not try, because I've used uh, both of these products before, but they were just sent to me from Charlotte Tilbury, so I'm gonna use them again. Uh, but the Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk and the Lip Luster in Pillow Talk. I, actually, I don't think I ever had the Lip Luster in Pillow Talk. I had it in this really beautiful, like shimmery shade. I wish I could remember the name. Anyway. I got them so long ago. They are long, long, long decluttered from my collection. So when she sent this over, I was like, lip luster? What's lip luster? It's like I hadn't used it in so long. I forgot that it was her lip gloss. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips with the Pillow Talk. So there's the lip cheat in Pillow Talk. I filled in a little bit. I'm gonna go in with the lip luster. This lip gloss is, it's a little stickier than I remember. Or maybe it's a shade, but there's like a little bit of tack. It's not too bad. Really beautiful sheen. Not too much, not too glassy, just a really nice, soft, subtle sheen. Hmm, pretty. All right, so there is my look. I think the black eyeshadow is kind of falling out a little bit. <laughs> I'm getting a little, little like black speckles here. All right, um, but that is it for this trying new makeup. Let me just quick take a look at this Laura Mercier foundation. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. It still looks good around my nose and everything. All right. I don't know why I sound surprised. Laura Mercier foundations have always worked pretty well for me, uh, to say the least. So not surprised. And the new shade from Say, this fair bronze is I love it. I absolutely love it. This could be my favorite thing that I tried today. This shade is so good. It's so good. All right. Well, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.